It was uh, early 90s. A friend of mine told me that a group of uh, uh, opposition, Mujahideen, has managed to smuggle a uh, tape uh, of a stoning. I could have not believed it. I said, uh, well, I would very much like to see it, whether see whether it's been staged or it's real. He gave it to me, and thank God he asked me not to watch it in the evening. So I took my daughter to school and started watching it at around 10 a.m., daylight. It, it felt like resurrection. I could have not believed it. Uh, two young men were being first given 80 lashes each, and then they were planted into the ground and were stoned to death. It took an hour and a half such a tedious death that is, it, there is no comparison. You can't compare it to any other kind of punishment. Such a barbaric, uh, backward punishment. I couldn't even believe my eyes. But on the other hand, what made me really devastated were the par participants, the people who were stoning these two. They were all young men. And when they arrived, they kept each other, kissing each other three times on the cheeks. And yet they were stoning these two for being homosexuals, for having an inappropriate relationship. Oh, it, it, uh, it's... I, the, the images are still with me, to be honest with you. I couldn't eat for days. I couldn't sleep properly for, for nights. Uh, and I was wondering how, when, who, would be willing to, to do something about this, to bring it to people's attention. There are millions of women in Iran who are suffering uh, from this regime and it's uh, Sharia law. Um, I've seen it on, uh, in the documentaries, I've seen it in movies, based on true stories. I've heard it from my families in Iran. I've heard it from uh, people who travel from Iran to United States or when I was in England, because I, I try to keep in touch all the time. So it's not just one or two stories. There are thousands of these women who've been, you know, uh, stripped off of their rights, who've been badly battered and nobody pays attention to them. You know, it, it's a man's world. It's a Shia world. Therefore, men, women have no place in it and neither their acclamation. So it's, uh, there's no, I, I can't tell you one story or two stories. There are thousands of them, but the one that, really made me feel furious was Sakine Ashtayani. Although, on the other hand, I was thrilled to take the news to the people who told me such a thing does not happen in Iran, Mrs. Akdashlu. You're trying to give us a bad image. And I kept telling them, well, have, haven't you heard the Amnesty International reports? Haven't you heard uh, Miss Christine Amonpour in her special program on religion? She actually interviews a woman from the parliament. And the woman says, Christine asks her, she says, how many stonings have you had so far? First, she tries to dodge the question. Then when Christine keeps pounding, she says, maybe three or four cases, which made me feel like, like choking myself to death. Three or four cases, what are we talking about? Chickens? <laughs> Even one is too many.